What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be doing a what I eat in a day video. My kids are out. Nick took them to his parents, which he does sometimes so that I can get some work done. So I'm gonna be just showing with you and sharing with you everything that I'm gonna be eating today and my neighbors are building a fence. So I thought I'd show you that as well because it'll be cool to see how much progress they can make on the fence by the end of the day. So let's get started on the video. I'm super hungry because I had two Zoom calls this morning and I was knowing that I needed to film this video and I was like freaking out because I got a new camera and I just always get weird about filming YouTube videos. I, I get scared, I honestly get scared. And so I haven't, I've put off eating till now and it is quarter to 11. I've just had one tiny little cookie, which I'll show you, don't worry, I'll show you. I'll show you every single thing I eat today. Let's do it, let's get into the video and I can just get out of my head and actually film this and hopefully inspire you by what I'm gonna be eating today. All right, we're gonna make some carrot cake oats. So you're gonna need a couple of carrots and I'll show you some other ingredients. We've got some nutmeg here and I've got some cinnamon. So let's make some of that. So this is definitely going to need more water. So I'll probably put another half a cup in. So this is starting to bubble away now and you can see it's going to need a lot longer just because I like to get it really really creamy and then I'll show you what I'll put on it as well. So what I thought I'd do is I'm just going to look what the calories are up for, I don't know what's happening here, in this meal because I just did a podcast episode on um, like whether you should be counting calories and for most people I think it comes down to two things okay it's is calorie counting as a whole is the concept sound is it an effective sound concept yes because if you can lower the calories then you can get into a calorie deficit and you're gonna be able to lose weight but the other question that you always need to be asking and whatever diet you do is is this easy to stick to or is this something that people actually can adhere to and with calorie counting I think the biggest issue is adherence because you do not necessarily know when you start calorie counting how to use calorie density so that you are able to make filling meals you don't know what kind of foods to eat more of what kind of foods to eat less you're just trying to fit everything into this puzzle and for most people they're kind of setting themselves up for failure because you think about if you've ever tried calorie counting, and most of us have, when you don't is when you binge, is when you go completely off track. So the other thing that calorie counting does is it gets you kind of thinking that your, your amount of calories that you're eating, based on the days that you track, based on the days that you kind of like stay on plan, is accurate. And in reality you think, okay, so everything that's happening for the entire month, or the entire year, if you average those out, that's what your average calories per day is, not on your good days. You've got to factor in everything else, like every lick and bite of food, every off-plan day. So, and then I think people start to think, oh, well, my metabolism is broken because I eat 1,500 calories a day and I can't lose weight, or I must have, like, hormonal issues. And the reality, it is, reality for most people is that they're consuming much more calories than 1,500 calories a day. And the reason that they're not losing weight is the same reason that anyone doesn't lose weight because you're not in a calorie deficit and to do that you only need to reduce your calories you don't need to count them you don't need to know what they are you just have to be able to reduce them and eating meals like this which is 
low in calorie density, it's high in fiber, it's got tons of water, is the best way to do that. So go listen to the podcast because I think it's going to explain things a lot better than I can in a YouTube video. And you can do it while you're cooking or while you're... Someone was telling me on Instagram that they were listening to the podcast while they were like looking after coral, which I think is kind of cool in their job. But go give that a listen and I'm going to show you what the calories are for this just for the mere fact of just showing around about kind of like where you want to be for weight loss and to show you that a big filling meal can actually be relatively low calories. So please don't take this as I'm saying you should go ca count calories. Please don't take this as I'm demonizing calorie counting. Just understand that there is pros and cons to both and you need to be asking, is this actually effective? Is this actually going to help me? and a whole foods plant-based diet, which is low in calorie density, is the most effective, not only in concept, but also in practice. So that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to help people do. Yeah. All right, I think this is done. That's all right, tastes like oats and carrot. <laughs> Doesn't taste like pizza, but that's all right. So raspberries would have been my first choice as a topping fruit-wise, but I'm gonna put some pitted cherries and I just defrost these in the microwave. Microwave is absolutely fine for you to use. It just heats up water molecules. Go and look at some actual studies. It is not harmful at all. Okay, the biggest issue that people have with microwaves, the most recorded problem is people microwaving eggs and then those eggs exploding and getting into people's eyes. I will link to a video <laughs> that talks about this a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna use these and this is gonna be my topping with some yogurt. Nick makes some um like soy yogurt which is really really nice i'm gonna put that on as well i'm gonna put some flax in there a little bit of flax and then just a little bit of soy milk Okay, so I'm gonna taste this deliciousness. This is a this is a big bowl of food, and it's around between 500 and 600 calories, which is really, really where you want to be when you're losing weight as one of three meals. I don't snack, so take that into account as well. Most people hear that kind of number; they hear like a 500, 600 calorie meal, and they think that sounds like a big meal. It's not a big meal, guys. Okay, it's not a big calorie meal. It is a big volume meal. Uh, most people are eating a lot more than that throughout their day as an average, right? So that's like 30% of my meals. So that's right about where you want to be. And let's try it. Mmm, I've got a big bit of carrot. It's pretty good. The juice, oh, oh it's hot. The juice from the frozen cherries, it just kind of goes over everything. And it makes it really sweet. Like you don't need maple syrup. You don't need sugar with this because of that cherry juice. Look at this. Yeah. Here's the progress on the fence. It's happening. Something's happening. So I'm going to make it kind of like a broccoli and pea soup. And this is actually a meal that I used to make when I was macro counting because it's it's actually pretty high in protein because I was trying to get lots of protein which you don't need to do and I've got a podcast episode on that as well. It's got like peas and broccoli and sweet potato and soy milk and onion and the reason that I'm going to make this is because I have the ingredients frozen and I haven't been shopping for a while so I don't really have any fresh vegetables but it's really yum and it's really quick and I'm hungry so I'm going to make that. So this is what you are going to need. Onions, and I've got a few different types of sweet potato here. These are like a white kind of on the outside and then they're slightly golden on the inside and it's like your regular Beauregard. So I've got a couple of those. And then some garlic, and then our peas, broccoli, and some mint for the very end.
I'm gonna put this on quite a high heat. Then I'm going to put in the onion. And I don't use any uh, oil with this. I just saute with a tiny bit of water. And you really don't need oil, especially when you're trying to lose weight. This is pretty much cooked now. And I'm gonna put in the sweet potato. I'll just add in enough water to cook it for a while. I don't know exactly how much water, just to cover it really. And now I'm going to just let this boil until it's nearly soft. And then when it's nearly soft, I'll add in the broccoli and the peas because I'm pretty sure they're already pre-cooked and they don't really need as much. So that's my thought process. Whenever I'm cooking, I'm trying to think what food takes longer to cook tubers like potatoes and sweet potatoes they're always going to take longer so if you don't want your veggies to go really brown and kind of sad like how your granny used to cook them then just put them in right at the end so i'm gonna go do something else not exactly sure what while i wait for these to cook a bit more hmm. yeah. okay so this is pretty much like pretty soft now so I'm going to put in I'm going to turn it down I'm going to turn it down and then I'm going to put in just over two like one pound of frozen broccoli and it seems like I cook like frozen with frozen vegetables a lot I do not normally as much as I show my YouTube videos it's just because I didn't have any I didn't have anything else this is a great backup and there's a tiny little clump in there look at that and then this is um one kilo of peas so i'm going to put half of this that's about one pound of peas i'm just going to put the lid on and kind of just let this cook for a little bit put it back up to high yeah and we're done so this is what it looks like it's been boiling away for a while and now i'm going to blend it up Okay, so I got the blender here. I'm gonna put the stuff in. Bye. Tablespoon of veggie stock. I'm gonna start with half a tablespoon. And then I've got these. I'm gonna put one of these in. seriously hate doing this so much let me know if this is a pet peeve of yours as well i hate it that i can't fit enough soup in my blender and then i have to put that in something else and then i have to add more soup to my blender first world problems for sure So it tastes really good. What I like about mixing it in this kind of container is I'm obviously not going to eat all of this, <laughs> obviously. So now it's in this container and it's mixed and the parts I don't use I can put straight in the fridge. So I added a tiny bit of hummus and I have these pea sprouts that I put on. This is the hummus that I use got a little bit of oil so I use it very sparingly and some chili flakes and some pepper doesn't that look amazing yeah okay this is seriously so good guys 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 you have to give this a go it's creamy it's minty it's just delicious it's very green so it's very good for you the progress of the fence it's going up pretty cool so while i am cooking up this i had this insanely brilliant 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 idea that i would cook dinner at the same time and 
something that you probably should know about me is I'm a little bit of an A type personality so I'm always trying to like figure out a way to save time. I'm already here and it gives me a chance to listen to my book more so I'll show you what I'll do. So for this dinner, I'm going to use my pressure cooker. Not really as a pressure cooker, just because it's going to be easier to keep it warm. Because it is quarter past, 20 past four now. I've got this chopped up and I'm going to saute in there. been cooking away now. I've got my beetroot and carrot and I'm going to put some tins of tomato in. It's just on the sauté feature. And then all this that I've chopped up, I'll put that in. So I've put that in now and I'm going to add in one of these and a bay leaf and some pepper. Now also put some olives and green olives. So the fence is actually looking really cool. Look at that. It looks great. So I'm gonna go for a little bit of a skate and I think I just need to get out of the house. I'm bored. Yeah, just really feeling like I need to do some exercise. <laughs> And I just, I don't do well, like looking at a screen all day, looking on social media all day <laughs> and being like, what am I doing here? Like, I can't do this. Just being honest, this is how I feel probably 90% of the time. So exercise is going to help. But then I was like, well, spaghetti would be nicer, so we'll probably just make spaghetti. I've got a surprise for you, Mommy. What? I want to tell you it's a surprise. Oh, okay. And I feel like this is fitting that today, after literally a month, my AdSense thing came through, so I can actually get paid by YouTube now. <laughs> so that's fun. Hi, we're about to have dinner, and we also have orders in it. It's a little bit like tomorrow soon, but it's a bit different. Ta-da! Yum! Yum! So I decided to use some rice that we had instead of making up pasta and instead of doing swede. I changed my mind so many times. Um, but this is going to be really nice with leftovers and it's so handy that I just had those left that leftover rice so I could quickly make this dinner. And I'm going to put like a tiny bit of this seed mix, like a dukkah that I made, just a really small amount, for like a teaspoon. Dad, there's a fork here. Yep, that'll be for mummy. I think you need one of the olives. Mm -hmm. It's so pink from the beetroot, eh? Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, the kids are in bed, the teeth are done, the house is not tidy. I'm about to go do that. I wanted to just these are the cookies that I had today. Uh, I had two of them and they're just made with 
oats and bananas and a little bit of peanut butter powder. And I've got these ones, I've got two pieces of chocolate chips on top. And so I will have one of these tonight as well with a cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next week for another video. And let me know if you like these kind of videos or what kind of things you want to see. And yeah, so I'll see you next week. Bye.